19 months. Outstanding, dude. Zeth, chat, it's been a bit. Been busy and have been taking a step back from ships, but I've been having the shakes from lack of death picks. I need my fix. <laughs> Does that mean that you've submitted a replay you want me to cover that just happens to have you dying? He just wants a death pick, doesn't he? Doesn't he? Perhaps, perhaps. All right, so let's get, let's get our uh, initial picture. Okay, so you're using, that should be the, the second alternate paint scheme for this, for the permanent camo. Kind of sexy. No death picks from you. Okay, no worries. Oh, big O, when you when you sub and you you prioritize a replay, we we always start with that, you know. <laughs> there you go, Mythic. All right, and Mythic, you sub, so I assume that means you want me to cover your replay, yeah? The Rishulu game. Okay, let me pull that one up. Uh, the next patch is looking like it's going to be uh, Wednesday morning, right? Tuesday mm. and Wednesday morning. Something around there. All, oh, all this top tier. All right. A little bit about the all this. This is the follow-up to the Rishilu class at tier 9. It's equipped with a 12 380 millimeter guns and a 3x4 configuration, two turrets forward, one turret aft, similar to an Iowa. Rishilu's main standout points are her high speed, her ex her high shell volume, and her... Well, she's just a really good repositioning battleship. Not exactly the most maneuverable thing in the world, but mm -hmm. what she lacks in, you know, subtlety, for lack of a better word, she makes up for it with, well, let's just say a grandiose and generous display of secondary firepower, and the ability to bull rush when equal or top tier. Mm -hmm. um, she does have a fairly large secondary battery comprised of 12 twin 100 millimeter mounts and three triple 152 millimeter mounts. Now her 100 millimeter secondaries cannot pen a lot of armor. They only have about 16 millimeters of penetration. However, if you equip them with IFHE, they can pen, uh, I believe 19 millimeters or 20 millimeters of armor, which allows them to go through yeah. destroyer plating the other right. thing is... That's the big thing. Yeah. Because without those, all you're doing with those smaller guns is setting fires. I mean, don't get me wrong, you still set a lot of fires because... Absolutely. Um, the fire like, I mean, the fire chance is pretty good, but the shell volume is also very high from those 100 balls. Stevie's looking oh, at bro. you guys, chat. Do you see that? He's looking right at you guys. He was. <laughs> this Ron's about to have a fun day, I think. He must have an eyeglass and... sponsorship now. 31. Oh. Nice double citadel in the ruin there. <laughs> no, so I didn't, I've are... just been wearing these because my uh, my eyes have been acting up lately, so I wanted to make sure it's not from eye strain looking at computers and stuff so much. All right, the Atlantis distracted. There's a jetliner here. Yep. Um, at this point, Wrong you way. can auto. Yeah, you can honestly just go for the flank, but yeah. on, with that shot on the Jutland, like, um, he... It's better, That's honestly, I said wrong way. sometimes... Yeah, sometimes it's better to wait for them to turn before mm -hmm. you shoot, so that your shots yep. are more likely to actually end up on target. Now, honestly, you, you could have just speaking, rushed the Crossborg. You could have just rushed speaking, the at this point. Yeah, uh, when you have a, uh, when you have a destroyer that's running away from you, uh, generally speaking, you want to be aiming uh, away from from you. you you want to assume that they're gonna like zigzag and wiggle waggle uh, but they're gonna do that because they keep doing it back and forth it actually makes a nice straight line so if you just aim away from you you have a better shot at hitting them oh mythic you're in this oh, game no. yeah you're and, the atlanta um, oh atlanta once again showing that it is one of the most trolley cruisers from bottom tier because overpens yep fun anyways that's all right Big O is reloading. How's your week, Zeth? 
fine. How have you been? Uh, a lot of interviews, a lot of job interviews. So. Oh, okay. You're you're changing jobs. Yes. Uh, nice. What do you do? Truck driver. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's be pretty high demand right now, yeah. Yeah. Cool. I have yeah. a I have a cousin who was a truck driver for a long, long time. I actually started truck driving when I turned 21, which is the minimum age you can start at. So, 10 years of experience, 11 in October. Wow. Okay. Nice. That's... Mythic's like but, I remember that battle. <laughs> uh, like a uh, didn't mean to in intrude, but I was uh, saying that the pen is 21 on the smaller secondaries, and the bigger one is 31 millimeters of pen. All right. Mm -hmm. That just needed a little bit of clarification there. I thought it was 19, but whatever the case, you do still set a lot of fires. And, I mean, like, okay, you don't pin a lot with either of the secondary batteries, but just look at the volume of fire that was going in on the Rhone and the Minnesota. Yep. Now, the turnout here kind of makes sense. I mean, there's there's no need to let yourself get fire, farmed by, you know, three, maybe four ships. So I do like the decision to kind of sit back and wait a little bit to decide what the, the Strasbourg's going to do. Um, you could have switched to HE if you were planning on just stopping, though, and reversing here. Uh, because HE would probably do more reliable damage and set fires on the Strasbourg compared to AP. Actually, truthfully speaking, Seth, um, Strasbourg is coded in 26mm plating, which um, Andrew... Big ol' Andrews uh, also does overmatch, so AP would actually oh. be the better ammunition choice, so... Never mind then. Yeah, and we look at that, three pins straight through the nose, he's dead. Mm hmm Now for the Minnesota. <laughs> uh, Minnesotas are always fun to fight against. Not. <laughs> they have a lot of gun. Remember, it's still 12 406mm guns, you still have to respect them. But... All this goes 36.2, and Minnesota can at best go uh, 25. Just so, I mean, if you just SAT. yes. By the way, let's see. Was it? Here are some five tens. Indifferous. By the way, thank you for the follow. I think I missed that one earlier. But there's the the. Five tens from when Mythic subbed. Oh, I. Depends your working... If you've got a replay on me to do, uh, let me know. Sorry, Zeth. No, please go ahead. You're the. It's it's your game, so feel free to interject anytime, man. Uh, I was saying I've been working on the uh, scroll zooming. I found one button on my mouse that I wasn't using, so I took uh, okay. the zoom in from Shift, put it on that button, and it's actually been working. I just gotta get used to it. That's all. Yeah, at first it, it it's very disorienting when you snap zoom versus scroll zoom, um, but I find that it, it, it's actually over time more disorienting when you scroll zoom versus snap, um, just because if you know what you're looking at um, and you just fixate on that target, you hit the you hit the snap zoom and boom. So over time, I think you'll get there. Yeah. Just disable the scroll button, lol. I don't think you can. No, oh, I've been you, trying you, to okay. figure that out. Can you? No, I think he's saying take the mouse wheel out of your mouse. <laughs> oh. Now this part here, I'm not sure why you turned around and head to south. I thought you would have kept on moving uh, north and pushing. Um, especially with the cyclone coming in now, you're not going to have a lot to do for a bit. Uh, I learned it's not worth the chase and helping the flank. It actually turned out for the better to do it that way. Plus, they got okay. one, two, three ships on this side, Jason. So, my thought was basically get the Minnesota out, um, and then you could head towards the middle. Um, I wouldn't chase the rune. I think that's a bit of a waste. Yeah, because, I mean, he bounces your shells, and he's just going to keep kiting, even with only two turrets. Mm -hmm. But I see what you're saying. You're going to head towards... Mad Season TV, thank you for the follow. You're going to head towards the middle, and you're going to blunt the enemy's push at a time when 
uh, with eight kilometer vision, you can isolate it down to one on one engagements or maybe one versus two. So I think that makes sense. Um, yeah, one of all this is big strengths and it is its ability to take those one on ones when it needs to. Mm -hmm. It's very comfortable doing timing? so because between the large secondary battery, the high speed, the shell volume from the secondaries, um, mm -hmm. blunting, trying to blunt an Alsus is like trying to stop a freight train. You just can't. Right. All right, so Nelson. Okay, we can do Nelson too. So what do we got here? We got... Mogami on the other side of the smoke. There sure is. Roma. There. Yeah, I mean, I was just about to say something's, something's got to be in that smoke. It's not Udaloy's smoke. Um, you would think that the Roma is gonna take out the Mogami based off of angling and and such, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's a Roma. The likelihood of him actually overpenning something is far higher than him, you know, actually killing the Megami. Mm hmm. All right, you are now detected. Radar from the Alaska. You're still trying to get into range. You got engine boost going, good. Alaska's radar is off. Okay, so there's the Shira and that smoke. So that was Udaloy's smoke originally, and now Shira smoked up back there. Okay, I gotcha. Oh, a Don's going too. So yeah, this is you the spicy part. So well, yeah, you basically just charge the center. Uh, Shirot is up. Shirot is shoot the Shirot. There you go. Because um, that's what most people will do is is they'll just you know charge as soon as this as soon as the uh, storm hits. Um, and you don't have to charge the storm necessarily. No. I mean, you can play it a little safe, figure out where everybody's going, take your time, reposition, heal up if you need to. Give yourself every advantage you need to when fighting in a Cyclone, because there you go. a Cyclone is essentially a one-on-one -on -one between you and whatever else is coming against you, whatever else is coming your way. And in that yep. sort of scenario, you want every advantage you can muster. Yep. Good, uh, good dodge there, yes. Uh, and you're going to slow down and dodge these torps as well. It's unfortunate you didn't smack the Mogami, but look, the rune has also turned around south. Okay. All right. <laughs> Dompier, thank you very much for the follow, by the way. Appreciate it. We do have a giveaway going. Exclamation point ticket is what you should be typing in chat, ladies and gentlemen. There are only 20 people who have entered the giveaway. So you have a good chance of winning. You have to be a follower and present to win. That's it. Yeah, you poop, you lose. I, 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 I got no fucks to give when it comes to that. And <laughs> poor, poor, poor Duckman, watching his chances of winning just plummeting. Ooh. Broadside reversing here. Mogami. Yes, please. Oh, and don't forget, after this replay, you got street raiders. Yes, ma'am. Um, I like to stop and turn in here. That's good because he most likely fired torpedoes at you. Kick your guns to the left. Get ready for the rune. You could use your heal now. Wouldn't be a bad idea. There's the torp dodge. There's the rune. It's like they're just letting you 1v1 them. This is great. That's why I love cyclones. <laughs> oh, cyclones are great, especially with a secondary battleship like this. All you need is hydro to make it even more fun, but hey. I mean, I think I did pretty well without it against those torpedoes. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Uh, oh, a lot oh, of this game awesome. is experience and, you know, getting that sense of when torpedoes are coming, right? Yep. Now, you could have turned your butt turret on the Alaska and gotten a shot there. Um while your your main battery was reloading. Hey, HMS Missouri. Oh, it's Missouri. What's up, dude? Thank you for the giggles on Twitter this morning. I saw Zaths and a few others pictures that you worked on. 
Yeah, I added it to my collection. I will add this to my collection. <laughs> it was awesome, this dude. Like a fine addition to my collection. Yes. I giggle and then I think to myself, oh my god, what's he gonna do to me? Everything. Why am I spotted? Alright, so, Rune is, I mean, he's doing what he should be doing, right? Kiting away. And you're gonna shoot him and kill him here. Lol, except you didn't, because guns happened. So, um, basically that it looked like that one shell bounced off the turret. Yep. And glorious French dispersion. <laughs> <laughs> He's right no, there. He's my like, I have my bag. <laughs> Get good. Now, I'm surprised that the rune hasn't luck chucked torpedoes at you. I thought he would have on his way out. It's random players. Don't ever expect too much out of them. I've learned not well, to. I'm I wouldn't be surprised if he luck chucked torps at the destroyer that he was uh, engaging earlier in killing, so. But you're looking pretty good. And there's the Kraken with close quarters expert, Noise. I love the combination. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if kill. I would have turned this way, though. I would have turned to the right, I think, coming out of that. In case the, um, in case the rune luck chucked torps. He didn't. Oh, hi, by the way, SAT. What are you going to do when you write up ship reviews, Doc? <laughs> <coughs> Technically speaking, that's what well, I already this game do. is pretty much over, but nice job, Big. Um, I think you did a good job of showing what secondary <laughs> spec battleships can do. Um, it got a little, little dicey in the middle part there with the, with the uh, storm. I think you might have been better off taking your time to get into that position, um, letting the Udaloi figure out who's there before you get in. Um, but other than that, damn good game. Thank you. All right, back in the Thanks again for something, man. Appreciate it. Yep, nope.